In the last decade or so, I'm sure you've heard plenty on TV and social media about how there's a war on Christmas here in America. The term war on Christmas stems from the idea that by including other cultures and saying phrases like happy holidays instead of merry Christmas, it's taken away from how certain people are able to celebrate the holiday season. Now we know that no one religion or one holiday has dominion over the holiday season, but I'm not here to dive into the culture wars, I'll leave that to Fox News. I'm here to talk about the original war on Christmas here in America. What's up everyone, welcome back, you got your boy Smash here. This is my second video in a series entitled History's Strangest Events, where we're going to take a look at some of the weirdest, strangest, and most bizarre events in human history. From mass hysteria to cataclysmic natural phenomena, we want to take you on a trip through some of our forgotten past. And today I'm going to try something a little bit different, as most of the images in this video have been generated by AI art. I'll talk a little bit more about that later. But if you like what you see, don't forget to smash that like button and give me a follow. And also hit that little bell icon and you'll be the first to know when my next video drops. So I know there's a lot of joking about it, but the war on Christmas here in the States is real. But it's not what you think. And it isn't a new thing either. The original war on Christmas began in 1659 in the Massachusetts Bay Colony. And it wasn't perpetuated by Satan worshippers or crazy liberals. No, the original war on Christmas was brought on by a group so devout in their religious beliefs that they had to flee Europe to avoid persecution. Believe it or not, the assault on your favorite holiday started with the Puritans. Yeah, you heard that correctly, the Puritans. In 1659, the Puritan government of the Mass Bay Colony officially banned the celebration of Christmas. So why did such a religious group have enough disdain for a major holiday to actually forbid its celebration? Well, to answer that question, we first have to answer the question, who were the Puritans? And we'll get to that in just a minute. But first, I wanted to come back to something I mentioned a little bit earlier. I mentioned that a lot of the images that are in this video were created by AI art. I've been using Dali Mini, which is absolutely amazing. It uses text prompts you can type in to turn your words into beautiful works of art. It's wicked cool the way it works. Sometimes it spits out the perfect image and sometimes it creates the stuff your nightmares, but uh, Dali Mini is free to use, so head over to labs.openai.com and create an account and check it out for yourself. So now back to the question, who were the Puritans? Well, the Puritans were a group of settlers from England that came to the US colonies in the 1620s and 30s. The name Puritans stems from a Protestant belief system known as Puritanism. Now these Puritans believed the Church of England had lost its way. Their beliefs told them to eliminate any rituals, traditions, or practices not rooted in the Bible. The Puritan schism from the Church of England had many seeking a new land to freely practice their religion. About 20,000 ended up here in the colonies, mainly settling in New England and along the north and central east coast toward Virginia. By 1659, they controlled the government of the Mass Bay Colony and imposed their strict religious beliefs, even codifying them into law. Now this was pre-constitution, so there was no separation of church and state at the time. The entire political and social structure of the colony was built on the Puritanist beliefs. They tried to control most aspects of people's lives. There were laws made to control what you could do in public and in private. They even dictated what types of clothing could be worn. The laws tended to affect women far more than men because, you know, God said so. One law even made it illegal for a man to kiss his spouse in public. And it was strictly enforced. One naval captain was arrested for kissing his wife on his doorstep after returning home from a three-year tour. Nope, the Puritans didn't play. And that brings us back to the war on Christmas. The Puritans did not agree with the Christmas holiday's pagan origins. They felt these types of celebrations were unnecessary and would distract them from the word of God. One common trope was, Thy for whom all days are holy can have no holiday. So in 1659, the Puritans banned Christmas from being celebrated in the Mass Bay Colony. The law read, For preventing disorders arising in several places within this jurisdiction by reason of some still observing such festivals as were superstitiously kept in other countries, to the great dishonor of God and offense of others, it is therefore ordered by this court and the authority thereof 
that whosoever shall be found observing any such day as Christmas or the like, either by forbearing of labor, feasting, or any other way, upon such accountants as aforesaid, every person so offending shall pay of every such offense five shillings as a fine to the county. Now back in the 17th century, Christmas was already one of the largest religious observances. It was filled with rituals, music, and feasts. It was celebrated largely in Europe, with a growing following here in the States. But this ban wasn't just limited to Christmas, as Easter and other celebrations of the time were also forbidden. They made everybody who was caught celebrating pay a fine. And that, my friends, is the story of how Massachusetts became Taxachusetts. Focus. Damn it, disembodied voice, I'm allowed to make a joke. Only good ones. Yeah, fair enough. Christmas, by most accounts, was much more moderate in the 17th century. If the Puritans were upset by music and feasts, can you imagine what they would say about today's hyper-commercialized gift-giving bonanza that Christmas has become? Can you imagine the Puritans seeing stores overflowing with fighting customers on Black Friday? Would they even recognize the holiday that has lost most of the meaning it might have had in their time? I think the answer to that is clear given the history here. But while we view the Puritans as religious extremists, which we should because they were, Maybe they weren't completely wrong about this one. Maybe we have taken Christmas too far. Maybe there's some kind of happy medium between what the Puritans wanted and what we have here today. The sad part is, that happy medium would still probably be more than the Puritans would be willing to bear given the depths of their beliefs. And if there really is a war on Christmas today here in the States, it isn't being driven by religious persecution. It's being driven by commercialism, a religion in and of itself. New religions come in and replace old religions, but sometimes they keep some of the rituals and traditions. And that's what we did here with Christmas. It's not the same holiday the Puritans banned all those years ago. Now I'd be willing to bet that most people watching this video never realized the Puritans, a devoutly religious group, was responsible for banning Christmas. You probably never learned about it in school or read about it in a book, and you probably think that this was just a fleeting moment in our nation's history, but you'd be wrong. The ban on Christmas lasted through the 17th and 18th centuries. It wasn't until the 19th century, when Puritanism started to fall out of favor, that the forbidden celebration started to make a comeback. By 1840, Christmas had become widely accepted nationwide. It became even more popular as President Ulysses S. Grant named it a national holiday in 1870. That means it had been banned for almost 200 years before making its comeback. But imagine today, with the polarized climate in which we live, if a government official mentioned a possible fine for celebrating a religious holiday, people would lose their minds, and rightfully so. That goes against everything many people say they stand for. It would be un-American. And this is why I find it comical that anyone would claim that there's a war on Christmas here today. I laugh every time somebody gets upset when they hear someone say happy holidays. When we look at our long history of religious persecution, and religion forcing their power over the people, we're reminded that it could be worse. A lot worse. So the next time a friend or boomer uncle mentions the war on Christmas, remind them of the almost two centuries when you couldn't celebrate Christmas here in America. And then when they're done trying to blame it on the liberals, remind them that it was the Puritans. And after they're done yelling fake news and throwing a tantrum, tell them the story of the original war on Christmas. Thanks for watching everyone. I hope y'all enjoyed. Don't forget to give me a follow and smash that like button. Also remember to hit the little bell icon so you'll be ready to go next time when we talk about one of the most famous kidnappings in history.